no diesel needed, and zero emissions. This bus, which runs through downtown Shanghai, has been powered by supercapacitors since 2008. The bus uses an innovative storing and charging system for its batteries to maximize efficiency. Every time it stops to pick up passengers, it's charging. After charging at the departure station, the bus can go four to five stops, and it can run the entire route without the air conditioner at all. Compared with traditional batteries, which can take hours to recharge, those that run on supercapacitors are much more time-saving. It only takes 30 to 90 seconds to charge the system. That means the bus can charge while waiting for the traffic lights to change. The system not only saves time, it's also cost-effective. The service life of a bus is eight years. The supercapacitor only needs to be replaced once and costs 600,000 yuan, while lithium batteries need to be replaced every two to three years and cost 1.8 million yuan. We can save a lot of money by operating supercapacitor buses, and we can open a new route this year. Outway Technology Development, a private tech company based in Shanghai, is a big driver of the innovation. Starting from scratch 16 years ago, it has become one of the leaders in the industry. The company has exported supercapacitor buses and has set up industrial standards in Europe and Israel. But the success hasn't come easy. Tech companies need more policy support from the government because the market is usually affected by it. For example, we have gained contracts for supercapacitor buses, but it was canceled later due to the subsidy policy change. Hua says financing difficulties are also a big challenge for small and medium-sized tech companies as they usually don't have many fixed assets. They rely solely on their technology. China's move from imitation to innovation has been a matter of national policy in recent years. Apart from the drive of the market, Chinese companies, especially startups, need a more supportive mechanism to transfer their innovations from the lab to practical use and profit. Many small firms focus on some specific areas of the industry chain, and they need to work with these upstream and downstream technologies together to make a product for the market. In many cases, there is a lack of such information to find that match. The government should help to integrate these resources. Despite being the second largest economy in the world and manufacturer of most of the world's electronics and gadgets, China still has a long way to go before it will be recognized as an innovative power station. Hoping to close the technological gap, many companies are now helping the country innovate to make sure that made in China becomes designed in China. Linan, CCTV, Shanghai.